Hi Stampers, it's time to record the club projects um, and post them on YouTube. So I've got a couple of cards I'm going to do. The first video is going to be our first project and um, what I wanted to do was just make a card that showed a bit of the in colors that just got released in the new catalog. So this is the card we're going to be making right here. So we've got the new in color Hello Honey for the cardstock. We've got Hello Honey, Mossy Meadow, and Blackberry Bliss on the front. And then we're using some of the new ribbon as well. And the new color ink with one of the new hostess sets that was just released. So this gave a good idea about some of the new product uh, for club members just so they could get their hands on it and see it and play with it and see if they like it. So let's do this card. Now for the video, I'm going to be using Mossy Meadow cardstock for the back. Um, and for this card, we cut the paper in half uh, horizontally, the eight and a half by 11. And for this one, we did it vertically. So we're gonna have a different close, but either way, you get two cards out of the cardstock. So it's all good. So just a basic background for this card. And then we are going to use our white cardstock. And I'm going to use the stamp out of Life's Adventure, which is a hostess set. And we're going to use You're the Best this time around. Stamp that in the Blackberry Bliss ink, my favorite new color. I'm still going to go down in the corner with this saying, you're the best. And then what we're going to need are our three squares across the top. So what I've done is I've cut out one by one pieces of cardstock and we're going to want to punch them. And what I used were the new itty bitty punches, the punch pack with the flower, the heart and the star. And I still like the look of the flower best. So I think I'm going to stick with the flower or actually let's do the star with this guy. But the trick is with these one by one inch pieces, um, trying to punch them can be a little bit tricky um, once you've already cut them. So I'm just going to even up my green square because I can see it has a little bit of a weird angle to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a post-it note and I'm going to stick it to the corner of my paper. Open up my little punch and I'm going to use this as a handle to get that in there. And I'm going to put my star right on the edge. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my Hello Honey. So a great way when you're using a small piece and you can't fit it into your punch, use a post-it note as a handle and away you go. You can punch any size piece at any point on the paper you like. So we'll do the Blackberry Bliss last. Oh, I got a little bit of a boo-boo. Let me see if I have another square over here. <clears throat> I'm getting over a cold, sorry. A little bit of a cough there in the video. This cold is hanging on forever. Okay, let's try this again. So I've got my handle on the Blackberry Bliss. I'm just going to go in a little bit. Let's see if this one worked. Perfect. A little bit further up from the bottom, which is what I was looking for. And I always save my little bits because you never know when you're going to need them for another project. <clears throat> Wouldn't want them to go to waste. We got those and we've got our little squares here. And all I did with these guys was use some Stampin' Dimensionals in the corner where we didn't punch. Let me just make sure I've got these all in the same spot when I go to line them up. <clears throat> Peel my backing off. And line these guys up. Again, just like the sample, I'm putting these off to the side a little bit. Just because that's where I like them. You can put them wherever you like. I loved it at club because we did these projects and I gave eight ladies the same materials and they all came up with different ideas on where to put these, where to punch them. Some of them used the little bits and put them on the front of their card. They used different stamps. So everybody had the same stuff, but they ended up, all of them ended up with different cards, which I thought was pretty darn cool. I'm just going to give this a quick cut. 
<clears throat> so what I did with this was I cut it down another half of an inch just because I want some room on the side for that ribbon to stick out just like it does in this sample here and I cut this piece a little too big so this is a standard five and a half by four and a quarter <clears throat> and for this one I went four and instead of the five and a half I went five so that it gives you a little bit extra room now even for the little ribbon bits I used the same color ribbon as I did the cardstock, so Blackberry Bliss, Hello Honey, and Mossy Meadow. Awesome new ribbon. Loved this stitch ribbon. It's one of my new favorites, and it makes really, really nice bows as well. Really liking it. But I used the same colors as the cardstock, and all I did was use snail. I didn't use anything heavier than that. Um, you're just using little bits of ribbon anyway. If I was using big bows or I was putting a lot on, I'd probably use the new fuse or even some sticky strip. But for now, I'm just going to put some snail on the side <clears throat> of the back of my card. And with these little bits, I'm going to put a little bit of snail right down the middle of the ribbon. And I'm going to fold them into a V. three of them and then <clears throat> I'm going to take my little bits and place them down the side of my card right on the snail I'm gonna put them in the same order that I put my card stock so I'm gonna start off with the blackberry bliss and then I'm going to put the hello honey and then the mossy meadow use my little paper snips once they're on and then I'm going to give them nice fresh cuts I find fiddling with the ribbon beforehand can it can fray so once it's on my card I give it the cut just so that I can keep that nice clean edge All done with that. I've got my paper, used my punches, used the new stamp from Life's Adventures stamp set, and now I'm going to put this on the front of my cardstock. And I'm going to use some dimensionals again just to give it a little bit of dimension. <laughs> Lift that front right off the card. <clears throat> I'm going to, what I did with this one, the same as the sample, I centered it down to the bottom just so that I'd make sure I had enough room for the ribbon and for the, the white cover. So I still have an edge around my white cover piece, but I have enough room for that ribbon on the side. And I used different cuts on here for this particular one. Folded the ribbon in half and cut on an angle so you get the little divot in the ribbon. And this one I just went on an angle. Flower punch for this one, star punch for this one, and both of these stamps actually are from this set. What I did for this guy, the Enjoy the Adventure Ahead, I used my Blackberry Bliss marker and just marked up the words underneath the bicycle and used that one on the Hello Honey card. And then I used the full stamp that you're the best on the Mossy Meadow card. So that was our first project at Stamp Club this month, giving the ladies a bit of an idea of what the new colors look like, what the new stamps look like, what the new punches look like, and uh, just to give them an idea of what everything was like to play with it and see uh, what they couldn't live without. <laughs> Hope you like my card and check out the next video for the main project that we did at Stamp Club, which is a gift card holder. Thanks a lot and happy stamping!